Joining us live via Skype is Mark Bichache, who is a journalist in Kenya. Good morning, Mr. Bichache. Good morning, how are you? Very well, thank you. Good to have you this morning. Uh, very quickly, according to... According to the latest figures published by John Hopkins uh, University, the world now has 2.9 cases uh, you know, of coronavirus, with 205 moving on deaths and 860,000 people now recovered. Nigeria, as you may know, we have uh, you know, 1,882 with 35, cases, uh, 35 deaths. South Africa has 4,361 cases and 86 deaths. Ghana, 1,511 deaths. Now, Kenya, where you are from, has 355 cases with uh, 14 deaths. From these figures, you would uh, agree that Kenya is in the least, but in East Africa, it's among the leading uh, countries, uh, countries with leading figures. What has the government been up to in Kenya to flatten the curve? Well, the government has done uh has issued a raft of measures to make sure that we are safe. For example, we have a 7 p.m. to 5 a.m. curfew. Um, the social distancing that's being encouraged, masks are being distributed and people are buying masks as well. So it is um, illegal now to go out in public without a mask. The number of people that can travel in one car has been reduced. The number of people that can be in a meeting has been reduced. Government officials have been asked that during their meetings they need to have social social distancing, uh, disinfectants, and, and, and um, such measures. So there's a lot that's been put in place. The government is also working on a wide, on a mass testing scheme that we'll see a lot more people tested. Um, right now we are about 18,000 people tested a lot of our country of around 47 million people. That number is quite small. So we are looking at expanding that as well. All right, uh, two cases also were confirmed in Kibera. And knowing how thickly, you know, uh, Kibera is populated and Islam, uh, does this call for a major concern in the line of community transmission? Yes, yes, it is an issue of great concern, um, simply because, as you stated, Kibera is uh, densely populated. But not only that, a lot of people, as you know, who live in uh, such settlements also have uh, um, uh, pre-existing conditions, uh, such as HIV, tuberculosis, um, diabetes. So there is also the issue of whether they'll be able to access good health care in time. And then also, let's remember that uh, because our testing levels are so low, we really don't quite know whether 300 uh, plus cases is all we have. So there's a, a lot still to be done. There's a lot of concern when you see it in places like Kibera. And yes, definitely, we will see wider spread in Kibera than we would um, probably in other places. Uh, but that remains to be seen. Mm -hmm. Bichache, you would agree that it would seem that this is the time to expect true leadership and accountability. Now, how would you rate the leadership in Kenya in the fight against COVID-19? What policies have you seen that worked? And which ones uh, should be evaluated in flattening the curve? I think uh, the things that I, I evaluate uh, highly are one, the fact that they quarantined everybody who was coming into the country um, uh, post uh, uh, mid uh, early March. And why that was important was because uh, all of the cases, ne nearly 90% of the cases have been due to foreign travel. So if we didn't have a quarantine program, by then we would have seen a lot more cases. Number two, I must uh, congratulate our government on their contact tracing. The fact that they were able to follow up the people who came in contact with the people who are infected in the community, quarantined them, tested them, and, and, and contained that spread in that regard. That's also very, very good. What we are scoring lowly on is the testing. I, I don't think we are testing enough people. Uh, the other thing that I think we are doing pretty well is the cash transfers, the need in our society. I think that gives them a bit of dignity and solves the logistics of, of, of trying to distribute food. The other thing I must congratulate our government on, and it's doing pretty well, is um, encouraging local innovation. We have people now developing masks in Kenya. PPEs are being developed in Kenya. Uh, we've got three, four different ventilator uh, uh, machines that are being distributed and tested here in Kenya. So we, we have a lot going on very well. I think we need to tighten um, uh, the news around the, the way we are managing the public funds dedicated to COVID-19. 
2019, given that we are a country that is bedeviled by corruption. But on the whole, I'll give our, our government a 70%, which is a pretty good score. Mm -hmm. Which brings me to my last uh, question to you. In the first week of the outbreak, uh, we saw different forms of intervention from different parts of the world. But interestingly, we have landlords in some quarters in uh, Kenya, in Nairobi, who waived the payments of rents for their tenants. Now, what other palliatives have you seen in place uh, apart from that? Well, um, I like that you've noted that a lot of landlords have uh, chosen to be lenient to their clients. In fact, a lot of them are still negotiating with, with their tenants and giving them either a, 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 a de de a delaying the payments or reducing the amounts to be paid. I've seen a lot of people who have been donating to the national line giving money so that um, uh, first responders and people in need will get uh, the resources they need. A lot of hotels have been donating food, though hilariously one hotel had its food rejected two days ago. Um, I've seen a lot of people going around giving out uh, masks. Uh, we've seen a lot of companies choosing to give discounts on their services. So we've seen a lot of changes, but I think one of the things that's exciting for me is that how the economy in Kenya has become more and more digital with people wanting to order online and things like that. And that's positive because it's a way of keeping the economy going and keeping the country uh, moving. Bichacha, Mark, Asante Sana, and please keep safe where you are. Asante for having me. All right, Karibu. And we go for a quick break now. When we return, it's the foreign news.